Paula Franz here, stream of consciousness series. In this video, we're going to be talking about it's the tension that's killing us. Uh, if you're curious as to what is this is all about, I encourage you to go back to the very beginning of uh, my intro video. We are closing in on three hours. I need water. And I'm not feeling tense emotionally, but I'm feeling tense in my shoulders because it's been a long time sitting here. But let's go five minutes. The topic is, it's the tension that's killing us. So, my one of my other daughters, Promise, I, can, I will say her name in this one, she she had, uh, she got connected with this, this, um, this place that teaches dialectics. And, and when I first heard it, I'm not going to lie, I was like, oh boy, here we go. What's the latest, you know, therapy to, to keep, you know, teenage girls from losing their minds? And, uh, for the first while, it was a six-month wait to get into this program, and she ended up getting in, and, and there was this guy, Rob, that I kept hearing about, because she didn't want Daddy to come right away. And uh, there were a number of reasons for that. There were other parents that were going to be there, and the whole concept of dialectics is there is no absolute truth between what I believe and what someone else believes. And I, and I thought there was, a, I was like, that sounds wise, actually. I'm over here on this cliff face, and I'm looking at my teenager, and, and I have my truth about what's happening in their life. And they have their truth about what they see and what's happening in my life. And there's a chasm in between us. And if we don't actually learn to listen to the other side, uh, well, good luck. Good luck and, and enjoy enjoy the life with teenagers. And hopefully you'll sort it out when they get a little older. And and, and you ask for forgiveness for, for not listening to them. And vice versa. But I kept hearing about Rob. Rob, Counselor Rob. And, and he sounded like he was a crazy person. And, and so I immediately liked him. And the fact that he would speak very liberally, he would use colorful metaphors in conversations with my daughter, I knew that for her, that's what she needed to know, that this guy was for real, that he could be just as real with her, speak her language. And I was like, I like him already. And there's another major topic that happened with him that I'll say in another video, but but. The, the blessing of being able to sit down with this man and him explaining this tension thing to me and what, and what he explained tied in and, and helped me to understand so much about what was, it allowed me to clarify what I kind of already was learning and having a real hard time implementing. And that is particularly from a, from a faith perspective. So if we have faith, right? So many of you out there have faith in, 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 uh, according to the statistics, it's 95% of us. And, and based on that faith, there are things that we feel like we're supposed to do feels that there are things that we we know we're not doing and then we kind of judge ourselves for it. And so from from my perspective, I'll just speak personally since I'm the only one here in the room. I was recognizing that I was carrying so much tension and pressure internally um, to do with my clients, you know, with people that I would be building for. And and I was so I was fearful. And I but I, but I shouldn't be. I should be trusting God. I shouldn't be afraid. I shouldn't be worried about money. I shouldn't be worried about whether a client's going to pay me. You know, these are all things that in my mind would mean I'm not doing well. You know, I should be trusting here. I should be, I should not be tense here. So I'm going to push this down or pretend it's not here. And I'm going to strive on anyway. So whether this is a struggle that anyone else is who's listening to this can relate to, whether it whether you are, whatever the tension is, if it's a tension that you're trying not to pretend it's not there, right? Like, you know, I happen to know someone who's, who is pretending that they are still okay to take care of a child, even though they are well past the age of being able to take care of a child and they're not doing well physically and they might need to get help for a special needs child. It's like, it's like the tension is so crazy, but they can't state what they feel about it because they're going to feel like a failure. This one day, I was with my daughter and Jana, and I was really thinking about this. I'm just like, do I have something hiding over my shoulder? Do I have something? Do I, am I pushing stuff down? And I got into the car, and I put this to the test, and I outwardly screamed out. There was a client that owed me a lot of money, and he, and he was, the, and for reasons that were very unusual and didn't make any sense, wasn't going to pay. And we have people to pay. We have a business to run. And and I just got in the car and I, I just let it out. I was just like, 
I am fucking terrified. I am fucking terrified that Mr. Blah 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 is not going to pay me. And I just have to say it and get it out here. So I'm not keeping it over here. I'm putting it in front of me and saying what it is I'm afraid of without feeling like I'm being a failure. In the three minute drive, after just stating what it was that was causing me all this tension by taking it and spitting it out of my mouth, putting it on the table so it could be seen by other people without feeling like a failure, my tension level dropped from about 85% to 10. Again, I haven't quite figured this one out. But I knew I was onto something. Since then, it has been my continuous goal to not only recognize, as I've done throughout my life, where I'm feeling afraid, but to start paying attention to the areas where I'm tense because I'm just not stating. It's like the John Mayer song. Say what you need to say. Don't bury it. Put it on the table. Whether that's with your wife, whether that's with someone other than your wife or your husband, someone you trust. But get the tension out of your body because that's what's killing us. And, and that tension manifests itself physically over time, which is a whole other topic. I'll move on. And the next topic is... And this this, this perfect tie-in. Next video will be, Is Your Teenager Frozen? You're going to want to.